Greetings. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020, the faculty and staff of Central Dolphin High School, I welcome you to Central Dolphin High School's virtual commencement ceremony. We are super excited that you could join us here as we honor and celebrate Central Dolphin High School's graduating class of 2020. To the graduates, your resiliency and strength through these unprecedented and challenging times has been remarkable. At this time, I ask that you please rise and help us honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Congratulations to the class of 2020. On behalf of the Central Dolphin Board of School Directors, I bring you greetings and our best wishes. I'm sure that none of you could have envisioned that the last few months of your senior year would end this way. Nevertheless, we are very proud of you and thank you very much for persevering through this incredible, incredibly difficult situation. When you leave Central Dolphin High School, each of you will choose a different path. Some will go to the military, some will go to trade schools, some will go to business, some will go to higher education. Please know that as you follow that path, you go with our best wishes and our gratitude for everything you've given back to us, and we wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and make good decisions. Thank you. Welcome, families, educators, friends, and the class of 2020. This year, we are making history with the first virtual graduation at Central Dolphin. But that does not surprise me. Our class has always had a unique way of doing things. Although as graduates, we may not all know each other personally, we feel connected in spirit, knowing that we have found the strength to persevere through these difficult, extenuating circumstances. This class is comprised of accomplished artists, musicians, athletes, scholars, but most importantly, compassionate people. The class of 2020 and Central Dolphin as a whole admirably thrives in the face of adversity. However, we have not become an accomplished group through our individual efforts alone. We need to recognize those who have encouraged us to reach this milestone of success. Our families, coaches, educators, mentors, and friends. Each of us has a unique web of support that has fostered an environment for us to grow and thrive in. As we matured into young adults, we relied on these individual support systems for guidance and strength. Now each milestone in life is accompanied by a turning point. Today's graduation marks the transition from a structured childhood to an independent adulthood. Moving forward, we will not have bells to signal the changing of classes or counselors suggesting career opportunities. No, from this moment, it is our responsibility to motivate ourselves to complete even the simplest of life's tasks. And so, how do we find the intrinsic motivation to continue to grow as individuals? This year, I was inspired by a teacher of mine whose advice to all of his students was, be an advocate for your education. 
Rely on yourself to succeed in school, not on the hard work and guidance of others. This principle is beneficial in all aspects of life, not just school. So my advice to you, class of 2020, is to become your own best advocate moving forward. If anything is consistent in life, it is change, which over the past few months, we have experienced in our daily lives. This is just the beginning. As each of us moves forward, we will connect with new people and lose touch with others. To face life's challenges, we must learn to depend on ourselves rather than others. The one person we must always depend on is ourselves. Rather than avoiding change and hiding in the comfort of complacency, it is essential to embrace change with open arms. Each day, we must look into the mirror and reflect on who we were yesterday and discover ways to be better versions of ourselves tomorrow. We must find what motivates us and allow our lives to be anchored by that. We must find strength and comfort in loving ourselves unapologetically. And it is okay if what we valued yesterday is entirely different than today. After all, change is the key to self-growth. Once we begin to build trust and confidence in ourselves, we will feel empowered to take more risks, knowing we will become stronger even when we fail. A friend once told me, experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. Once we come to understand this principle, we will stop fearing failure and start craving the self-development that follows. Change is a given in life. Once we find peace within ourselves, we may find change to be less intimidating than it once was. Change fosters the personal growth and success that simply does not exist in complacency. And so, class of 2020, become an advocate for your self-growth. Rely on yourself for success and see how far you will go. School board members, principals, teachers, faculty, staff, families, and Central Dolphin class of 2020. Our day has finally come. As a class of 2020 historian, I'd like it to be known that as far as I'm concerned, our class has set yet another record for the history books. The most senior skip days ever recorded in Central Dolphin history. But seriously, as I was preparing for this speech, I realized that we, the Central Dolphin class of 2020, stand together in this interruption of our spring school days, not only with one another, but with 1.5 billion other students worldwide, according to the Washington Post. That's a mind-blowing statistic, but also one that is full of potential. Just imagine if all 1.5 billion of us embraced this unusual time in world history and considered it less of an interruption and more of an opportunity to become more and do more than we ever dreamed. Recently, actor Tom Hanks, addressing the graduating class at Wright State, Ohio, referred to the 2020 grads as the chosen ones. He said, you chosen ones are going to form the new structure and define the new realities and make the new world after all that we've been through. And while the future is always uncertain, we are certain of one thing, that on this day, you will not let us down. I agree. We will not let the world down. After all, the graduating class of 2020, born in the years 2001 and 2002, has lived during a unique period shaped by a number of shared historical experiences. When we were born, our parents rocked us to sleep as they tried to process the horrific events of 9-11 which permeated the news and changed the world forever. Our class was born the same year the first Spider-Man movie was ever released, the same year Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears broke up, and the same year Kim Possible and That's So Raven debuted on Disney Channel. As we grew up, our steps aligned with The Walking Dead and Harry Potter, and we polished our moves at the middle school dance through Gangnam Style and The Whip. We have always lived in an accelerated period of technology, as we said goodbye to blockbusters and witnessed the birth of streaming services. The class of 2020 has always lived with Wi-Fi, Wikipedia, and Google, and we've mastered the art of emojis, GIFs, text shorthand, and hashtags. No, not hash browns, mom. 
Our class has never experienced the rotary dial phone, nor have we had printed directions and gotten lost trying to follow them. Indeed, as we move forward in history, finding our direction will require us to tap into the champion within each of us. After all, the class of 2020 knows how to win, right? This time last year, we were basking in the glow of a softball state championship. And yet again, another successful year of Central Dolphin accomplishments are behind us. Even with the unfortunate void of our final months this year, Central Dolphin fans had plenty of reasons to join the mob, cheering loudly and proudly for our school in many arenas. For starters, this year alone, we had five Commonwealth Division Championships, five district championships, five teams advanced, advanced states, with football getting to the state finals, and two mid-pen champions in basketball. Our, futures, our future business leaders sent multiple teams to states, and we even finished in the top of the high school stock market statewide competition with second place. We answered the governor's STEM challenge with our team creating innovative Fitbit technology for hospitals and convalescent homes. We've also raised tens of thousands of dollars for Four Diamonds and Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and other worthy causes. As if that weren't enough, our RAM band members accomplished great things, including the Harrisburg Symphony premiering an orchestra written by one of our very own. These mountaintop experiences all have value, but sometimes the storm of life can hit us hardest, leaving us with a fresh perspective. They stir our hearts and they challenge us to grow in unimaginable ways. So let's make history, friends, and move forward, not with intimidation, but with inspiration. I firmly believe that God has marked our class in this occasion with a special stamp. After all, as Tom Hanks said, we are the chosen ones, right? As I wrap up my speech, I can hear the Bruno Mars lyrics of our class song in my head. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. You can count on me like one, two, three. And I know I can count on all of you. Thank you teachers, faculty, staff, and families for an incredible Central Dolphin journey. We will miss you. Congratulations, Central Dolphin class of 2020. Let's go out into the world and do great things. Over the course of American history, times of hardship have banded our country together into moments of great unity. Events like Pearl Harbor, 9-11, and the COVID-19 pandemic have allowed Americans to band together socially, economically, and politically. Our predecessors' hardship sparked a spirit of togetherness as it began rebuilding this nation. Today, the class of 2020 is also beginning our own reconstruction. Events surrounding our generation remind us that we need change, and the strength to create it comes by working together. A few weeks ago, I emailed my fifth grade teacher after I realized we would not be having an elementary school walkthrough. In his email, he said, I hope karma delivers some extra special events in your very near future. I have been contemplating with the word karma, convinced our situation was an outcome of poor actions. I took a step back and reflected. It is not what we did, it is what we are going to do. From our situation, we have created good karma together. The strength we have gained from being together and helping each other has taught us more than we could have learned on our own, and that will one day make the difference. Even though focusing on negatives in our situation is easy, there is still something beautiful about what we have lived through. We have remembered the value of a walk around our neighborhood with our friends, and we have finally found time for ourselves. Although this is not how we intend to continue living, we have learned how much better we can be together, even through being apart. Together, with the help of others, we can overcome emotional, economic, political, and personal downfalls. Although the past few months have socially distanced us from one another, we have made an effort to stay emotionally connected, finding strength in being together through Instagram, iMessage, FaceTime, Snapchat, and even TikTok. Our class gift, intended to cultivate kindness among us, is an opportunity for future classes to enjoy what we have missed out on this year. Rather than dwelling on our own misfortunes, our class is investing in others' enjoyments. Although our class did not enjoy our, outdoor, our school's outdoor eating area this spring, we can nurture our school's environment by understanding others and encouraging social interaction, something we have surely missed out on this year. The class of 2020 is gifting our soon-to-be alma mater with a pergola to enhance the outdoor eating area behind our school's cafeteria. Our class gift is intended to bring people together provide a sense of comfort, and remind all of us, 
that we are indeed stronger together. In addition to the pergola, our class has rented two electronic billboards prominently displaying the class of 2020 students who have lost so much. These billboards cannot replace our senior prom, spring sports, conversations at lunch, laughter in the hallways, and hanging out with our favorite teachers. Nothing will make up for our lost time, which is why it is so important to cherish every moment with those around us. Petty fights and pointless drama should not cause the loss of friendships. Always try to be forgiving and understanding of others. As Ronald Reagan once said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Representing the unique class of 2020 has been a privilege. As we leave our families to attend college, join the workforce, or enlist in the world's strongest military, never forget the importance of being together. Surround yourself with your own cheerleaders and be the greatest cheerleader to those around you. Follow your dreams, make them happen, and always remember who supported and guided you along the way. As we face our nation's new economic and political reconstruction, we must rely on each other and our support systems as we embark upon the next chapter of our lives. Remember who helped you achieve your successes and do not forget to remember yourself admits caring for other people. Today, I know we depart with compassion in our hearts and I hope it only grows with us as we have grown with each other over these past four years. In the words of Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will not forget how you made them feel. Thank you to the entire class of 2020, our administrators, our teachers, and our parents for making all of us feel not only better, but special. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea,
class of 2020, congratulations. You may be wondering why I'm standing in the middle of a tennis court right now. Although the end of my high school tennis career may not have ended how I would have liked, I saw it fitting that I could find closure by speaking to you today from a place that has meant so much to me in the past four years. And today, each of us has reached the summit of this mountain that we call high school. Today, we are finally graduating. So as we transition to the next chapter in our lives, let's celebrate this truly incredible accomplishment. Now, unfortunately, in many ways, the end of our time together in high school has been overshadowed by the COVID-19 pandemic. While our predecessors fought the symptoms of senioritis from within the walls of Central Dolphin High School, we've spent the last three months isolated in our homes. As of May 25th, the United States has seen approximately 100,000 deaths. Pennsylvania has accounted for over 5,000 of these, 62 of which took place in Dauphin County. Although at times the virus may seem distant, these numbers show that it really has hit home. In April, 20.5 million people lost their jobs. This brought the unemployment rate to 14.7%, the highest it's been since the Great Depression. I can't stress to you enough that these are not just numbers. These statistics reflect real people, people in our community whose family and friends have been directly affected. Personally, I have lost two family members during this difficult time, and chances are every one of us has some connection to what the virus has taken. It has inflicted wounds that may never heal, physical, economic, and emotional damage that cannot be reconciled. Here at Central Dolphin, much has been taken from the class of 2020 as well, moments and memories that we will never experience. We have lost our senior prom, our final year of spring sports, many of them, our last quarter of being in school together, and so much more. If you're like me, you may be asking, why us? Why now? And there's no good answer to that question. But I can tell you, by fixating ourselves on what might have been, we are blinding ourselves to what still can be. Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, once said, when one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long and regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the one which is open for us. It's amazing how Bell's words from so long ago can still ring so true today. Pun intended. But seriously, COVID-19 has slammed some really, really large doors right in our faces. But if we take the time to turn around and look, we will see new doors that have opened opportunities that otherwise would not have been possible. One such opportunity has been the chance to learn about ourselves, not only as individuals, but also as a part of a larger community. We have taken this time to learn how we can be together despite physical separation. Can anybody guess the number one free app on the Apple App Store? Zoom Cloud Meetings. How about number two? TikTok. Three, YouTube. All of the three top apps are platforms that help us connect with one another. In the new normal of social isolation, we have utilized technology to continue and even improve upon our day-to-day -day operations. Who would have imagined that my grandparents who still don't know how to text, could have learned to video chat, not me. Now, beyond simply connecting with one another, we have taken this time to uplift those around us. Parents, teachers, and administrators here at Central Dolphin have worked together to find special ways to compensate for missed opportunities. Yard signs, farewell videos, and this virtual graduation have all filled a void created by COVID-19. Throughout our nation, communities have shown immense support for brave essential workers. Public figures have organized events to raise millions of dollars for charity. Did anyone else watch the golf match with Tiger Woods that raised over $20 million? Even Travis Scott, you know, sicko mode, hosted a Fortnite concert. In this time of hardship and uncertainty, our unity has been truly incredible. Helen Keller expressed it quite simply. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. The COVID-19 pandemic, which has impacted every single one of us, has given us the opportunity to spend more quality time with our families, to learn how to work remotely from home, to bond over viral TV shows like Outer Banks, shout out Sarah Cameron, and to catch up on some much needed sleep. And I can vouch for that. Opportunity brought about by change offers endless potential for personal growth. As Alexander Graham Bell reminded us, doors will open, but it is our job to walk through them. Be mindful, though. no door will stay open forever. Nothing in life lasts forever, not even life itself. Situations change rapidly and often without notice. 
too many times, we do not appreciate what we have until it's gone. So let's make sure to enjoy every moment that we get. And when an opportunity arises, let's seize it. Who better to endorse this message than Philadelphia Eagles legend, Nick Fultz? He once said, I've always tried to live in the moment. Let's live like Nick, without regret, fearless, and ready to rise above. To that I say, Philly Philly. Central often, despite countless challenges, we have found ways to become stronger. In moments of hardship, we must remember to look for the silver lining. When adversity confronts us, which it will for every one of us, face it with determination. Find another way to accomplish your goals. Take advantage of opportunities and adjust to thrive in new settings. Do not allow a roadblock to become an endpoint. Rather, consider it a new route to your destination. As Charlie D'Amelio, one of the greatest social influencers of our generation would say, be a renegade, renegade, renegade. Did I do that right? I'm not so sure, but at least I tried. Class of 2020, I will leave you with this thought. Together we are strong, and together we will overcome, just as we always have. Learn from, but do not dwell on the past. Make the most of the present, and always work toward a better future. Thank you. Good evening. It is my honor and privilege to stand before you this evening to honor and celebrate a journey that began back in 2009 when you were listening to Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas and Miley Cyrus's party in the USA. Never did we think that we'd be wearing masks in the USA in the night of your graduation. But the journey ends tonight with the graduation of the Central Dolphin High School class of 2020. While it ended very differently than we all hoped and pictured, it doesn't lessen the time spent, the memories made, and the accomplishments of this group of strong and resilient young men and women. I would like to hold with tradition and begin by highlighting some of the greatest accomplishments, the collective accomplishments, of the class of 2020. Our first group of honorees focus on academic achievement. 116 students in the class of 2020 have been inducted into the prestigious National Honor Society for their superior scholarship, leadership, character, and service. That is not an easy task. It requires an incredible amount of discipline and balance. So at this time, while their name appears in front of you, I would like us to reflect on the dedication, hard work, and commitment made by these young men and women. We are extremely proud to announce that 80% of our graduating class will continue on to some form of post-secondary education. 65% of the class of 2020 have been accepted into a four-year college or university, and 15% are headed to a two-year college or, or trade school. 20% of the class will leave high school and enter the workforce, and 13 of our students will enter our nation's armed forces. Great job, class of 2020. In fact, this year's senior class has amassed over one or $4.1 million in academic and athletic scholarship money, including National Merit commended students Jason Klein and William Grice. Again, this is not an easy task, and it does require an incredible amount of discipline and balance. So at this time, please applaud their efforts and give them a big hug if they're sitting right next to you. Thanks. Next, I'd like to honor our students who demonstrated compassion or a helping hand to others just because it was the right thing to do. American author Henry James stated, there are three things in human life that are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. It's a pretty simple but often overlooked concept. So in the spirit of recognizing good character and service, we celebrate random acts of kindness demonstrated by some of our students to support other students and our staff. At this time, I'd like to thank the 71 students that helped make CD High School a better place and a kinder place for somebody else just because it was the right thing to do. If you're home right now, please stand up so your family or friends can applaud you. Finally, I'd like to recognize the 13 members of the senior class that have enlisted in a branch of our nation's armed forces. 
over the past several months, we've lost, we've lost a little bit of our social and economic freedom. It doesn't feel good, and it doesn't feel American. In order to keep our way of life, we need brave young men and women to defend our freedom at home and abroad. So at this time, I'd like us to reflect on the names of the family, friends, and classmates who've committed themselves to serving our nation and sacrifice their freedom and safety so we can keep ours. While the class of 2020 is graduating 437 students, 12 staff members are also retiring from CB. Mrs. Darwin Bayshore, Spanish, for 34 years. Mr. Alan Benson, biology, 26 years, all at CD. Mrs. Pam Duncan, physical education, 15 years at CD. Mr. Craig Dowdy, math, 33 years, 31 of those at CD. Mr. Bill Etzweiler, technology education, and he was also a former administrator. He's been with the district for 24 years and 15 at CD. Ms. Kim Ford, French, 34 years, 32 of those at CD. Ms. Sandy Ramsey, biology, 30 years, all at CD. Mrs. Andrea Rung, social studies, 11 years at CD. Dr. Colleen Wensler, English, 33 years, 18 of those at CD. Mrs. Terry Thomas, office secretary, 11 years at the high school. Mrs. Janice Wenzel, custodian, 29 years at CD, doing things and keeping this building running in an immaculate and outstanding fashion. I'd also like to uh, recognize Mr. Jeff Swiger, who retired from being our tech, tech ed teacher midway through the school year. Outstanding in the classroom, and he's going to continue as Coach Swiger in, in the wintertime with our wrestling team, hoping to continue building state championship caliber programs. That is 282 years of irreplaceable experience leaving CD. Beyond the experience, these good people put the education of young men and women paramount. We're gonna miss them, and I hope they miss us too. It was a pleasure knowing and working with each and every one of them. We wish all our retirees good luck and good health as they start a life that doesn't require lesson plans or making phone call home. But knowing them, they'll still miss some of that. We presented over 100 awards to our deserving seniors at our senior awards program three weeks ago. Unfortunately, we missed a couple. So at this time, I'd like to acknowledge those students. In the art department for 3D art, Carly Kallenberger. The art department award, Alexandra Durham. Drawing and painting, Ashley Fry. And outstanding artist, Gavin Nixon. In the athletic department, Paige Arnold was a recipient of the CD Field Hockey Booster Club Scholarship and a Rachel Gus Award and Scholarship. Jessica Fetro was also a recipient of the CD Field Hockey Booster Club Award. And in the music department, Madison Clare was a recipient of the O. David Dietz Choral Scholarship Award. Included in the many awards presented at the Senior Awards Program, we presented our two most prestigious academic awards, the Valedictorian and Salutatorian of the Class of 2020. Jason Klein has earned the highest academic award presented to a graduating senior, the honor of being number one in his class and being the class of 2020 Valid's Victorian. Jason finished with 102.4% GPA while taking 15 advanced level courses during his career, nine of which being AP courses. Jason was on the Distinguished Honor Roll every marking period and is a three-year member of the National Honor Society. During the senior awards, Jason was also presented with the following awards the U.S. Air Force Math and Science Award, the Principal Award for Chemistry, the C.D. Boys Soccer Scholarship, the Jerry Brooks District Three Academic Award, and he was Central Dolphins John Travers Male Award nominee. In the fall, Jason plans to study at the College of William & Mary. Along with a plaque that commemorates his status as class valid Victorian, Jason will receive a check from Mr. Donald Enders of the Enders Insurance Group. Jason, Congratulations on your many accomplishments and good luck at William & Mary in the fall. Allison Raybuck has also earned a high honor of being the class salutatorian, which goes to the second highest academic award presented to a graduating senior. Allison also finished with 102.4% GPA while taking 16 advanced level courses during her career, seven of which being AP courses. 
She was also on the Distinguished Honor Roll every marking period and is a three-year member of the National Honor Society. During our Senior Awards program, Allison was presented with the following awards. The Principal Award for Physical Education, Spanish, and Composition. The Good Citizenship Award, sponsored by Senator John DeSanto. The National Honor Society Treasurer Award and the U.S. Air Force Math and Science Award. Next year, Allison will attend the University of Delaware's Honor College and will, mar will major in marketing. In addition to a plaque that commemorates her status as class salutatorian, Allison will receive a check from the staff of Central Dolphin High School. Allison, congratulations and good luck at the University of Delaware this fall. Four years ago, last August, you entered CD High School. And I told you in our auditorium that you're entering with a fresh start and you'll get out of the next four years exactly what you put into it. You get one shot at high school. So I hope you feel like that you made the most of your opportunities at CD, that you leave with no regrets, and that you're prepared for the next stage of your life. I also asked you about your legacy and what kind of legacy the class of 2020 would leave behind. Now, I doubt you remember that because at the same time that I was telling you that, you were trying to figure out where the 900 hallway was. Why do we even call that it the 900 hallway? What bus you ride and where your bus is gonna be. But let's go back to the legacy part. Your legacy in short is how your class will be remembered. It's hard to conceptualize what a class's legacy will be when you're in the moment. However, the class of 2020 is different. The legacy that you live behind is one that no one in this area or anywhere will ever forget. During your time at CD, you dealt with some pretty petty issues and some very heavy topics. We had hard discussions that brought light to social issues and institutional issues that we needed to address at our own school. That takes an impressive balance of maturity and resiliency. And you've single-handedly helped me realize and accept things that I never had the capacity or the courage to do before. That's what you leave with me. So for that, I thank you. To others, you're the class that lost their senior year. Plain and simple, it sucks. But you now have a place in history, and history is important. And I'm not just saying that because I used to be a history teacher. History are the stories that define us, and they unify us. These are the stories that you tell others and you can relate to with other members of other classes of 2020 around the country. It's like a natural and automatic fraternity or sorority that only you share a small amount with other people. You also have a great guilt-ridden story to tell your kids and your grandkids. It's never gonna beat your grandparents saying that they had to walk two miles to and from school uphill each way and the snow and the rain, because it, it does that, right? And sure, it's, it's not the Great Depression and it's not a world war. But still, saying that you were a senior, you were in the senior class that graduated during a pandemic is still pretty badass in its own right. So overall, I hope you learned something more than academics over the last couple months. For me, it was patience and flexibility. I had to accept things were out of my control. I had to find healthy ways to handle stressful situations. I found some new hobbies, ones that I hope to continue. I also had a chance to remember that life has its ups and its downs. And while this school year ended on a down note, don't forget all the good times that you had, all the friends that you made, and all the accomplishments that you achieved. And for ups, there certainly will be life's ups. This class is destined and deserving of some ups. And with knowing the collective strength, maturity, and resiliency of this class, this class graduating tonight is destined to do some amazing things. We are so proud of the class of 2020. There will never be another class like you. And I doubt there will ever be another class that may impress me more. So if you wonder what your legacy is at CD or even in the CD community, it's that you were the class that experienced a tremendous amount of adversity, but handled it with unprecedented grace and maturity. So now I challenge you to do great and unprecedented things. We love you, class of 2020. Congratulations. No one will ever forget you.
Dr. Miller, I now present to you Central Dolphin High School's Class of 2020. Class of 2020, you will never be forgotten. You mattered here. You made a difference here. We know that you have been here. There are things that you shared together during these years that make you not just another class of students coming through. You will be missed. You are part of the woven fabric of this school and this district forever. You will always be remembered. I, we, wish you the best. Traditionally, the next part, I will ask you to stand. Mr. Miller, principal of Central Dolphin High School, has assured me that a re result of many years of hard work, each of you has met the requirements for graduation from the Central Dolphin School District. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I certify each of you a graduate of Central Dolphin High School. You may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Jason Benjamin Klein, Class of 2020 Valedictorian. Allison Grace Rebuck, Class of 2020 Salutatorian. Jason Lewis Abbott, Zena Abdul Rahman, Ahmed Allah Ahmed Ahmed Abu Gamra, Andrew Michael Adkins, Chloe Gemmel Adler, Logan Joseph Augustino, Harris Ahmad, Allison Marie Ansbach, Beiruz Elisher Anvaroff, Paige Elizabeth Arnold, Gage Demetrius Askins, Veronica Marie Avila, Hagar Awad, John Sebastian Axman, Cassandra Lee Baker, Ryan Andrew Barnes, Evan Michael Barnett, Naomi Bastiam Pillai, Tushig Batulga, Anthony James Bablish, Carissa Noel Bescher, Cullen William Bell, Eli Keith Bentz, Tymir Eric Bathia, Isabella Grace Bien, Peyton Brian Blaine, Gabriel Jordan Bloom, Jaden Renee Bluestone, Carissa Marie Bonowitz, Rachel Pamela Bonner, Olivia Rose Bohr, Bryce John Bordelato, Jeffrey Michael Buchner, Colin Michael Boyer, Eric Matthew Boyer, Stephanie Ann Bertina, Caleb Austin Bricker, Sabrina Pearl Braunstein, Myron Tracy Brooks. Jake Samuel Brocker. Tatiana Maylin Brown. Colton Lane Briner. Aubrey Renee Bullers. Samantha J. Burns. Joshua Charles Buzalak. Carly Marie Kallenberger. Jordan Nelson Campbell, Joseph Harry Kaplan, Anna Elizabeth Caputo, Alyssa Nicole Carball, Jackson Riley Carmichael, Devin Michael Kerrigan, Andrea Castanon, Julia Ann Cavoli, Cameron James Champ, Jasmine Chan, Mayall Norquicio Chapman Joseph, Kimberly Chen, Pratiksha Shetri, Adriana Nicole Kimenti, Nicholas Anthony Kimenti, Corinne Lilith Chisholm, Kalise Lene Chisholm, 
Madison Ariel Claire, Porter Allen Clark, Nathan Lee Cleaver, Benjamin Joseph Clementi, Layla Mie Cobb, Kara Elizabeth Collins, Ariel Monique Cologne, Braden Lee Cooper, Samantha Bailey Cooper, Isa Ivelisse Cortez Pabon, Alexander Kyle Coy, Andrew Boeing Cribari, Caitlin Rose Cromer, Bria Ann Cuff, Brady Nicholas Cullen, Demiana Ahmad Dabsha, Christopher Robert Daly, Chelsea Elizabeth Daniels, Cage David Danish, Ian Jonathan Davis, Aaron Rachel Dean, Sophie Anya Dean, Clara Itelka de Grandchamp, Caden Thomas Delaney, David Albert de Sousa, James Dominic de Stefano, Adam Scott de Checo, Ethan David Dixon, Sarah Shadel Doherty, Melina Elise Doris, Kira Therese Dutches, Ariana Dubeck, Elise Paige Dunham, Samantha Dolores Dunn, Alexandra Ray Durham, Elijah Thomas Dyer, Justice Alexis Dyer, Kyle William Eagle, Jackson Patrick Eck, Rebecca Jean Eckenroth, Megan Elizabeth Edwards, Fatty Nader Fami, Same Wilson Anthony Faragala, Aluwade Milade Fasui, Brooke Michaela Fieser, Emmanuel Roy Feliciano, Jessica Ann Fetro, Brianna Gabrielle Figueroa, Justin Michael Flegg, Tyler Lee Fleeg, Carrie Marie Flickinger, Jackson Christopher Flood, Connor Shea Flynn, Madeline Ray Fogarty, Adeline Marie Forrester, Alexa Charlize Fortney, Riley Jean Foxwell, Jesse Scott Frank, Audrey Jean Frazier, Gavin Jones Frisch, Ashley Marie Fry, Tierra Rose Fuller, Tyrese Dion Fuller, Maria Akram Nasarala Gabala, Riley Morgan Gabrielson, Emily Ann Gaines, Deontay Leo Goss, Grace Aaron Gibbs, Lexi Jordan Gibo, Claire Melissa Gibson, Haley Joe Gillen, Camden Marie Guip, William Michael George Yordy, Darby Klaus Glusevich Kepner, Jacob Matthew Goldman, JC Alex Goodman, Olivia Devin Goodman, Eric Braden Gornick, William Victor Rice, Michael David Groom, Nicholas Severiano Garnaschelli, Mamta Grung, Connor Raymond Hammaker, Istvan Hengyas, Ryan Anthony Hanlon, Catherine Mackenzie Hanshaw, Andrew Joseph Hare, Matthew Dylan Harper, Alexa Grace Hartman, Leon Jabari Hayes, Taylor Ann Peck, Matthew Lawrence Henry, 
Guadalupe Hernandez Bermejo, Beck Tiger Heschler, Jacob Timothy Hicks, Madison Rayanne Hill, Cheyenne Noel Hilliard, Alberto Abdala Hisa, Olivia Huang, Jacob Matthew Hoffman, Stephen Michael Hoffman, Ryan David Hohenschelt, Ethan Baird Hone, Madison Margaret Hollister, Yogesh Hamagai, Adam Ryan Hoover, Austin Michael Hoover, Aiden Tyler Hornung, Madeline Grace Hosey, Christopher Michael Howard, Jacob Michael Hubler, Shaylin Elise Hughes, Christopher Scott Ingram, Kyla Capri Jackson, Hannah Nicole Jacobs, Sainabu Sule Jallo, Asan Jawed, Benjamin Michael Jessup, Jacob Ray Johnson, Jasmine Elaine Johnson, Anthony Edwin Jones, John Patrick Jordan, Julian Leon Jordan, Hannah M. Kane, Lauren Marquis Cavish, Logan Eric Keg, Michael Daniel Kelleher, Vincent Valentine Keller, Emily Sue Kessler, Enos Fatima Khan, Haley Catherine Klein, Molly Rose Klein, Isabella Nicole Klingle, Julie Madeline Francis Knott, Alexa Nicole Kunkel, Haley Lynn Lackner, Robert Allen Michael Lang, Joseph Pablo Latig, Alexis Chanel Lawson, Chad Christopher Layton, Michael Dylan Leach, Seth Robert Lee, Peyton Diane Leggett, Carson Simone Langle, Gina Marie Leto, Amira Amatula Lewis, Kaba Naquel Lewis, Mason Edward Liddick, Dylan Joseph Linville, Richard Shema Lomax, Natasha Marie Long, Tyler Cole Lohman, Taylor Paige Luckenbill, Mackenzie Danielle Moss, Wallace Jaden Macon, Brian Timothy Madden, Logan Allen Mater, Vickery El Sayed Mahmoud, Zev Daniel Molina, Sharisha Manger, Noah Stephen Martell, Isabel Matthias, Lauren Nicole Mazatesta, Justin Roland McBarnett, Michael Anthony McConnell, Caitlin McKenzie McDonald, Matthew William McGovern, Kayla Angeli McHugh, Madison Elise McKenna, Scott Patrick McManaman, Alexis Ray McMinn, Kalia Amari McWayne, Morgan Rose Meck, Faina Noverly Mariska, Thomas Terry John Misick, Leanne Elizabeth Meyer, Justin Anthony Miller, Marielle Grace Miller, Nancy May Miller, John Nathan Mitchum, Brandon Michael Moore, Kyle Jaden Morales, Gabriella Marie Morrow, 
Ethan Bradley Mosca. Ronnie Guitare Mugendi. Stephen Michael Mullen. Colin Joseph Murphy. Ryan Scott Murphy. Sean Patrick Murphy. Aaron Eugene Muse. Genesis Giselle Myers. Jacob Christopher Myers. Naveen Narsimhalu. Marion Adele Nasif. Patience Wanja Ndungu. Bomika Neopani. Atrik Nepal. Emily Catherine Newhard. Rachel Tolulope Newton. Marlena Joy Nye. Zoe Alana Nisley. Gavin Eladio Nixon. Paige O'Brien. Delaney Grace O'Hara. Leah Rose Oberheim. Eziwani Ugoki Okoro. Sarah Pearl Omsler. Collins Ongweni Amwoyo. Jeremy Julian Onafre. Jacob Stephen Oros. Zachary Adam Oris. Luke Rooney Oswald. Nathaniel Lee Owens. Anna Elizabeth Park. Olivia Jane Parlin. Isabel Elise Parson. Curtin VJ Patel. Neil Dasarath Patel. Sakshi Narendra Patel. Shub Patel. Tanisha Dilapabai Patel. Kajane Jayana Payne. Nathan Peter Pazukanix. Sydney Elizabeth Pakella. Angel Perez. Angel Renee Perez. Antonio Nicholas Perez. Alexander Paul Peroni. Tyler John Peterson. Vincent T. Pham. Jacob Scott Philippe. Ethan Everett Phipps. Blake Jeffrey Pinks. Molly Elizabeth Maureen Platt. Danielle Marie Poling. Scott William Pollock. Brooke Renee Polly. Zachary Francis Pomeroy. Thomas Stewart Poor. Tika R. Paldell. Dylan Gabriel Presley. Gina Marie Presley. Abigail Faith Proctor. Alex May Proc. Haley Ann Kiterio. Mary Mafuz Ragi. Jasmine Nicole Rainey. Gabriella Conchetta Risi. Drew Michael Reeser. Lauren Ashley Reif. Robert Bishop Emmanuel Reynolds. Sarah Grace Rhine. Matthew William Ricard. Madison Paige Richwine. Kylie Nicole Ricker. Jalen Diane Riss. Kai Taden Rivera Scarberry. Keenan Marvin Roberts. Rachel Elise Roberts. Jalen Denise Robertson. Malcolm Eugene Robinson Williams. Ariana Maroney Robsock. Catherine May Rossler. Hannah Abigail Roth. Lucas Michael Rothermel. Sean Michael Roy. Josephine Marie Rudy. Rance Anthony Russo. Ola Watamisson 
Bibukanalua Salu, Joshua Sanchez, Sarah Marielle Sanchez, Connor Patrick Sanders, Cameron James Sansoni, Jehoshaphat Sarfo, Magdalene Sarfo, Luke Daniel Sowers, Lindsay Marie Schaefer, Caitlin Michelle Schooley, Eric Michael Schrock, Brandon Xavier Shuddy, Roland James Seely Fortney, Parker Von Sell, Camden Christopher Schaefer, Zoe L. Schaefer, Cameron Sharif, Colby Braden Chateau, Jose Javier Shearer, Miranda Lee Shingera, Lauren Ann Showalter, Jack William Shuey, Clayton Robert Signori, Naeem Sims, Ella Rose Singer, Nicholas Anthony Sype, Christopher Austin Smith, Madison Jane Smith, Tyke Rafiq Smith, Wyatt James Smith, Enzo Antonius Summers, Peyton Elizabeth Seremsic, Tegan Scott Starr, Adelaide Jane Stevenson, Christy Lynn Stone King, Charles Robert Straup Jr., Allison Ann Stubblefield, Adrian Ray Stutzman, Sercer Zai Nayama Suyaka, Ali Meadow Somerville, Zaire Elijah Sweat, Preston Allen Swope, Liza Kate Sobachan, Jackson Garrett Taft, Jackson Charles Talbot, Abby Grace Talmage, Manuka Tamang, Bryce Allen Thoman, Angele Cameron Thomas, Malachi Eugene Thompson, Devin Nicole Thurston, Iliora Faye Tickner, Camden Thomas Toby, Megan Georgia Tucker, Nia Simone Turner, Kyle Phoenix Tyndale, Isaac Lee Vale, Christiana Johanna Van Val Coleman, Elijah Jose Vargas, Amanda Paige Varner, Leah Marie Vinay, Grace Ella Vogelsong, Troy David Vogelsong, Eve Victoria Vukmanic, Fontel Eric Wydell, Abigail Renee Wagner, Remington P.G. Walmer, Megan Lynn Walters, Amir Lamont Walton, Alexandra Jane Wampler, Regan Lynn Ward, Alexis Rose Warner, Shana Lynn Warner, Olivia K. Watkins, Ty Otto Weathersby, Audrey Catherine Weigel, Micah Allen Wyman, Trevor Gabriel Weinstock, Rhysanne Marie Weldon, Emma Paige Weller, Tanner Michael Wenrick, Stephen Bradley Wetton, Shariah Murray White, Noah Christopher Whitson, Destiny Maria Wilburn, Lauren Carmela Williams, Sierra Grace Winters, Devin Eric Woodson, Lily 
Rose Wolf. Jordan Taylor Wright. Madison Ann Yarish. Andrew Philip Yost. Sophia Nicole Ziders. Jaden Lee Zimmerman. Wyatt Eugene Zimmerman. To our alma mater, ever dear, we raise this song of praise, and we'll oft recall as best of all our happy high school days. Forever, our banner of green. Class of 2020, if there is one thing I have ever wanted to teach all of you, it has been to value kindness and the relationships that develop because of it. Last month, my mentor teacher, Ed Rockland, was killed while riding his bike by a driver who was texting. This incident profoundly affected me. This man who inspired me to become not only the best teacher I could be, but also the best person is now gone. This was a loss which cut me deeply. He was the kindest soul you will ever meet. It was Mr. Rockland who taught me to answer the question, what do you teach, with the response of students. Students, he said, are the reasons you become a teacher, not a subject. He taught me at a young age that it was the relationships you had with people that mattered most. He is the reason I attempted to get to know you through our yearly birthday celebrations as corny as they may have been. He is one of the reasons that our connections and relationships were and still are important to me. Because of COVID-19, I and the thousands of students he taught and athletes he coached mourned in isolation. No celebration of his life, no gathering to swap stories or hugs. So class of 2020, I feel your mourning. I feel your loss. You have lost something which can never be returned. And for that, I am sorry. When I think of our journey through high school together, I get teary-eyed thinking at the abrupt end. But this is not the end. This is just the beginning. This is the beginning of your adult life. This is your time to begin making your own meaningful connections. This is your time to live your dreams. This is your time to make your mark. I have no doubts that you will take what you have learned at Central Dolphin and soar. This class of 2020 is full of potential. You have faced hardships and overcome. You have stumbled and regained your footing. You are a class of artists, athletes, poets, musicians, and kind souls. I am eager to hear of your future accomplishments for I sincerely believe each of you has a talent. Those of you at the top of the class, those of you at the bottom, and every single one of you in between. I charge you to find your talent, to nourish it, to grow it, and to share it with the world. As you move away from CD and the lessons learned within its walls, please continue to not only to find your talent, but to remember to always treat people with kindness. For people might remember you for your talent, but they will always remember you for your kindness and how you treated them. I care about each and every one of you, and I wish you the best. No one will ever forget the class of 2020, certainly not me. I hope you have enjoyed this evening's virtual graduation. Good night.